back. The countdown is on to Mother's Day as a prelude to that special day. Urban Renewal Centers on Grand Bahama are hosting a number of events to honor this group of nurturers and nation builders. Joan Davis Roll reports on yesterday's event. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Anybody remember that? I remember that. A trip down memory lane reflected on the rich heritage, a legacy left behind and continues to be written by mothers who continue to rock the cradle and rule the world. A world which is today, according to a local religious leader, is a far cry from that of yesteryear. You look at how, how the world is turning right now in the Bahamas. Many of us mothers and grandmothers, we are burying our children. And the children, we are, we are never so... We are never supposed to bury our children. Our children are supposed to bury us. Yeah, that, 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 that lines up with the promises of God. And so something is wrong. Urban Renewal 2.0 honoring mothers in a special way, hosting a pre-Mother's Day ceremony at the Marco City Urban Renewal Center. Guest speaker for the occasion, Apostle Anne Grant, further made a call for mothers everywhere to promote Christian principles get back to basics and return to God. The younger generation for certain will spend more time on that weave than they spend on that child. You know, more money on the weave than they spend on the child. And, and, and so something is wrong. This is not the legacy that we are passing on to them. And so now we have to try to redeem the time while we can. And so I'm encouraging you to do that. Some grandparents, and I don't mean to offend anyone here, but you don't want to be called grandmother or grandmama or Grammy. You want Nana. Well, I never read about a nana in the Bible. To me, it's a joy to be called grandmother or grandma or grammy, whatever it is. Once it's grand, because I don't, it, it suggests that you don't pass through some things. Uh, you, you completed some things in life. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got some wisdom in life, some understanding that you can offer. And so that's what it's all about. Deputy Director for Urban Renewal on Grand Bahama, Michelle Rackley, recognizing the contributions of Apostle Grant and others, made a clarion call for women of this nation to give honor where honors do. As we approach Mother's Day, let us celebrate our women. So many times because of their prayers. You know, when we sleep, they're praying and watching and asking God to build a fence of protection around us. So let's try and make whomever Mother's Day as grand as we can, can, because next year we don't know if all of us will sit under this tent again. A highlight of the event featured spring in full bloom with a parade of hats by mothers. Mother's Day initiative by Urban Renewal is proof that the spirit of motherhood is alive and well in our communities as we move towards Mother's Day. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Joan Davis Roll. Thank you, June. Beautiful hat. Another major urban renewal initiative is set for West Grand Bahama tomorrow, as mothers from those communities will be honored during a special event at the Harbor West Shopping Center in Eight Mile Rock. Deputy Director for Urban Renewal 2.0, Michelle Rackley, extending an open invitation for the grand celebration. West and coming together with Eight Mile Rock, which is the biggest settlement in Grand Bahama. And of course, our guest speaker there will be Apostle Ricardo Grant. Feel free to be a part of fun, act um, joy, and, and just a day of relaxation. And to be pampered by the staff of Urban Renewal, West End and Eight Mile Rock. And now it's time to ask the doctor. Hi and welcome. Rita sent these questions. Why do I need lab tests? And is there anything I need to know or do differently before I get them? Your questions are very important, and thanks for asking them, Rita. Lab tests provide valuable information to help your doctor determine your overall health, diagnose disease, and decide your treatment. Your body has many types of cells and fluids, and nearly all of them can be tested, although the most common ones tested are blood and urine. Specimens such as the fluid that surrounds your spine, joint fluid, sputum, which is similar to mucus that you produce when you cough, stool, bone marrow, and tissues can all be tested. Depending on the tests ordered, there are specific things that you may need to do. You may be told not to eat food for eight to 12 hours before coming to the lab, or to only to eat certain foods. 
You may also be instructed to drink more or less than what you would normally drink 8 to 12 hours before the test, or you may be asked to not smoke before a test. If your doctor tells you that laboratory tests are ordered, ask for special instructions or speak with a member of the laboratory team. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, sporting notes after the break.